I pray that God will open your eyes to understand what I'm teaching you tonight. There are certain dimensions of the supplies of God that cannot happen by doing business with men. You must do business with spirits. I cast my crown before. Listen. The highest royalty. Remember that's what Satan wanted. Bow down and worship me. Satan has been obsessed with allegiance and loyalty. The kingdoms did not mean anything to him. The glories did not mean anything to him. But he knows that it is the system that men need. And so what he decided to do was to make sure that he has control of those systems. And then he will continue to call men to say, let us negotiate. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Question, where did that business happen? That he gained the whole world? Because that is a business terminology. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Where is the law? Show me where men gain the whole world. Do they gain it in a bank? Do they gain it in an investment house? Show me where men gain the whole world and give up their soul. That business, when you get there, the commodity is your soul versus the world. Not your product. Your soul and the world. 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 So you now know that it says, I wish above all things that you prosper. But I hope your soul too was not lost while you are prospering. I hope that the way you prospered was God's own way. I know how you have prospered. When your soul does not prosper, it was exchanged for your wealth. Sit down, sit down. Yabone naka Sujada ne na Sarkin salama Sarkin My concern is not your prosperity. I can know what kind of exchange happened by looking at your soul. Immediately I look at your money. The next thing I should look at is your soul. If I find out that your spiritual life went down, there was an exchange that happened on the mountain. Whether you are aware or not, you have followed a system that has sold your soul. There are many, sit down please. There are many men of God. There are many businessmen. There are many captains of industry that gave, received the world and sold their soul. This temptation Satan gave Jesus was not the last time he would give it. He has been giving it till today. So he says, I wish above all things that you will prosper. But I will know how the prosperity came not by looking at the money. But looking at your soul when i i see both your soul and your pocket rising i know where that grace came from it can't be the devil the devil will never allow your pocket and your soul to rise at the same time so i look at your prosperity and then i look at your soul i see that in your rising you gave up your values you gave up your character you gave up your family you gave up your integrity i know that there is a negotiation happening you are giving your soul for mundane things are we together look what jesus did verse 10 ah. jesus said get thee then satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shall thou serve. What was Satan looking for? Allegiance. Satan does not need money. He does not want money. 
so apostle why is it that satan why is it that there is difficulty in meeting our bills at home satan knows that men cannot endure hardship indefinitely so he manipulates the economy and waits for you on that mountain he knows that when the pain becomes too much and your church cannot build the pastor will say i thank god for this but i prophesy sam bring one million remember that's not how he started but because of the pain we need money generator needs to be fueled fast and now i'm at a point we brought a man of god abroad and we cannot pay him so sam bring one million bring two million so i see the church's financing rising but i look at the soul of the members so i know that an exchange has happened the pastor negotiated an exchange I, I, I'm not saying this in a critical way. The greatest dread of Satan is that you prosper while your soul prospers. What then is his gain? Think how annoying it will be for me. As a businessman, this is what I'm selling. Look up, please. And then... I see you hold both money and my product. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, you think what that would do to me. My advantage has been ruined. You have shown me I don't need you. That's the statement that this is happening. And so when you can have a prosperous soul and you are empowered economically, are we together? You get up in the morning and say, my children, we are waiting upon the Lord today, yet the increment in the school fees does not affect the prayer because the resources are there. Glory be to God. Satan says, what then is my entry point in this family? Thank you. Is God speaking to someone? What shall it profit a man? Please listen to this message because I promise you, every one of us, you will climb that mountain. I got listen 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 you may climb that mountain and come back with wood or you can climb that mountain and come back as a soulless person that on that mountain Satan will give you mundane things and after 30 years of wealth and affluence and increase you will find out that you are on your way to hell this message is a deliverance to the body of Christ listen to me i can tell you that satan hates what you are hearing i call it the warfare dimension of kingdom wealth where the product is your soul versus the world hmm. your soul did you ever hear that they sell souls hey, Jimmy is a businessman where do you say i know they sell pure water is that true i know they sell clothes but he's saying there is a marketplace on earth where the commodity of exchange is the soul of man. Not slave trade was only a mimicking of something that was already in the realm of the spirit. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, If it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. Everything I need is in you. Hallelujah. Revelation 18, read for me from verse 9. We are reading 9 to 13. Babylon, as a woman, that Jezebel that sits upon the horse. The Bible tells us she's not only a prophetess, she's a businesswoman. Babylon, the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Verse 10, standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon is falling 
for in one hour is your judgment come 11 and the merchants who are those who will cry the businessmen of the earth how did they become rich the bible says the the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore their prosperity was tied to their, their connection with her whatever happened to babylon happened to their business are you following me please what are her merchandise look at these are the products that this woman deals in are you ready believers number one gold and silver and precious stones and pearls fine linen purple silk scarlet tyan wood all manner of ivory all manner of vessels of most precious wood brass iron marble tartine mm. cinnamon odors ointment frankincense wine babylon also sells anointing oil did you see it there and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses help me now read together and chariots and slaves and souls of men babylon any one of these products you want she can give you give me the souls of men so that my track when i produce anything it will get everywhere and she says the condition bow to me that exchange happens on that mountain while it's happening you don't know the next thing you just sit down and find out that your soul is glued to their music the, you, you, there's nothing you can do you just find out that you bite you are even minding yourself the next thing you are nodding your head and, ah god forgive me you don't even know what is happening the souls of men what kind of a businesswoman is this that does both physical and spiritual business sells gold sells anointing for you you want anointing for ministry she can give you too <sighs> but you always know that it is her product by one single litmus test as the wealth grows your soul dies your wealth and your soul cannot grow together when you do business with her i wish above all things koinonia tell me you are getting blessed tonight so when your soul is going down and then there is increase coming could it be that an exchange has happened on that mountain what shall it profit a man if he gains gains loses gains loses business terminologies you can gain the whole world and then you lose your soul 